hi you guys welcome back to the channel the ninth cup where all of my readings focus on your soul's destiny and everything you can do to embody your soul's purpose so i'm diving into the chiron readings this will be for the sign of pisces if your chiron is placed in pisces this reading is for you it is a general reading so it may or may not apply to you just take what resonates and leave the rest so chiron it is not a planet it's an asteroid that orbits between the planets saturn and uranus it's known as the wounded healer. So it's the aspect of ourselves that is um, wounded from past lives and potentially our early childhood in this lifetime. It is also the gift that we have to service others. So we can help other people heal this particular wound, but it, yet it's something that we struggle with um, within ourselves. Um, now Chiron is currently in the sign of Aries. So it orbits kind of like the planets. Um, your natal chart, however, would have Chiron in Pisces. But if you look at where Aries sits in your chart, that's where Chiron is sitting um, currently, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and start your reading today with the um, astrology cards. We're gonna get some general energies and see what's going on for you all. You know, Chiron and Pisces, you know, that's a wound, I think, in really connecting to um, divine source energy since Pisces is so... Um, dreamy and spiritual it rules over the 12th house which is all about the subconscious so I'm almost getting like there's a, a, a an eight or like built-in blockage to your subconscious right so it'd be really hard for you to do things like reprogram and um, restructure the way you um, the way you can channel if that makes sense even if you're not necessarily spiritually inclined um, we all have intuition right so I, I would just say that Chiron and Pisces would be kind of like a wounded or um, yeah like a, a, a torn intuition in within yourself so let's go ahead and get these uh, energies what do we have we have the seventh house this area of your life is about long-term significant partnerships romantic business or family so the seventh house is home to Libra and Venus Maybe your Chiron is in the seventh house or in the sign of Libra. Okay. You could have your Chiron conjunct Venus in your chart. The first house, this just came out for Aquarius. What people see in the impression you give. So the first house is right next to your ascendant. So maybe your Chiron is in the first house or in the sign of Aries. Could also be sitting right on your ascendant, your Chiron. I, I've seen that like a few times where the Chiron was in the first house, very close to the ascendant line. So it could be that. And now we have Pisces, <laughs> you guys, you guys are coming out in your reading. So this should be a pretty good reading. Um, this energy is wistful, endlessly loving, compassionate, and forgiving. It confuses and softens resolve. Okay, so that is Piscean energy. Very, very beautiful energy, Pisces. Um, my Chiron is, um, it's not in Pisces, but it's in the 12th house, the house of Pisces, so. Maybe something will come out that resonates. Let's uh, let's see. So we have seventh house, first house, and Pisces. So this right here is telling me that definitely there could be some issues. Um, well, not issues, but you know, like some some things coming up regarding your long term meaningful partnerships. Um, like this card says, it could be family, business, or romantic. Um, and then first house. So maybe like there are some challenges regarding how your partner sees you or your family member sees you. Um, this Piscean energy, you know, it's very, you know, wistful and forgiving and compassionate. So I'm getting this Piscean energy is actually for the people around you, though. Excuse me. So not that they are Pisces, but I'm getting that Piscean energy, that Neptunian energy for these people that um, or, or person, if it's a, just a partnership that are close to you. Right. So it's like they really want to welcome you and they want to keep you warm. They want to. Um, offer you um, space they want to hold space for you for whatever is going on um, I'm gonna get the, the tarot you know what before I even continue on because I want to see if <laughs> the cards will excuse me confirm what I um, am I'm channeling so let's see for you guys for Pisces your birthday season's coming up in a few weeks so we'll see what's going on for you all Pisces. We have the Queen of Pentacles here. Queen of Pentacles. Um, now this is coming out with seventh house. The Queen of Pentacles for me is Taurus. I mean, it also is Venusian energy. Venus is home to the seventh house along with Libra. So this is like, this could be the energy of the person around you. 
um, that's kind of an authority figure. So it's it's a queen, right? But remember, this queens and kings in the tarot, it's not gender specific. So this could be a male, but basically somebody who's a person of authority, um, somebody you look up to, an older sibling, aunt, uncle, parent. They are really trying to... Um, I'm trying to see. So FYI, my Mercury is in Pisces and people who have Mercury in Pisces always have trouble like articulating themselves and Mercury is currently retrograde. So just hang tight. Um, this queen of pentacles energy, it's like the person that's trying to hold the foundation for you. So something could have happened in your lives where you became destabilized, um, or you lost faith in yourself. You lost confidence. Remember Chiron is a, is a wound. Okay. It's a subconscious belief. Um, your Chiron is in Pisces, okay? So again, that blockage to getting um, inward, right? Reflecting, meditating, getting still, um, you know, connecting with source, right? It's it's like faith as well um, on, on some level. So this person, this queen of pentacles is like kind of, it's like they're kind of trying to infuse their Piscean energy into you. It's like they're trying to like be their the spiritual guide for you and not necessarily like directly, like they're not maybe not saying that, but this is how they are coming up in the relationship to you, right? Regarding you. That's what I'm getting. So let's see what else comes out. Knight of Wands. Um, yeah, Knight of Wands here. So um, here we go. I, you know, I this, uh, this card came out in reverse. I don't read reversals on my channel, but it did come out reverse. And this happened in the Aquarius reading too, where I pulled a card and it, um, it actually came out upright, but I channeled the reverse, the shadow energy for it. And I'm kind of getting that with this Knight of Wands energy. So here's, here's what I'm getting. <laughs> um, some of you could have just recently ended a relationship with someone and now it's like the people that are close to you so that parent aunt uncle best friend whoever is supporting you throughout this process of the breakup because it could have that could have been the thing that destabilized you the ending of that relationship maybe it was sudden um maybe this person really betrayed you or hurt you in some way or you know it could have been you know mutual but it's still yet yeah, like you're still having a hard time with it maybe you're having to adjust to like you know your living situation or maybe you know bills you had shared expenses and now you're trying to you know because this pentacles energy came out so maybe the person is also like offering you some resources maybe like lend you lend you some money okay because maybe the person you were with they were in the knight of wands energy in reverse which is somebody who doesn't have a lot of staying power it's somebody who's pretty much it's um some tarot readers refer to it as like the player energy the player card but it basically is just flightiness it's like not being sure okay it's here today gone tomorrow kind of energy and because it's coming out with the seventh house that tells me that that you know it that energy had something to do with your meaningful partnerships okay but this person again like this person or people could be parents mentors teachers older siblings whoever they're here to kind of hold you it's to your integrity okay because th that person might have maybe pushed you a little bit out of integrity through the breakup um, and that, again, for some of you that could have been directly through like manipulative tactics, this person, or it could be just, you know, the, the breakup was mutual. You guys went your own ways, but the fallout of, of the separation kind of is like, you're struggling with it a little. Okay. So let's see what else we get here. Seven of pentacles, more pentacles energy, but this is really thinking about where you want to invest now, really, um, thinking about, the next relationship that you invest your time into your time and even money maybe this person that you were with maybe you know you were paying most of the bills or maybe you did lend this person money and then they took off and never paid you back or you know something like that maybe they just kind of were a freeloader because you know pentacles energy is about our physical possessions could have been like borrowing your car taking it here and there not filling up the tank things like that and now it's like you're being more careful this person here the, the pentacles person the supporter could be helping you plant more um, um, more carefully and, and really help you with your discernment. Because like another thing with your Chiron and Pisces is you might not have a strong sense of discernment. You could be kind of just like accepting of everything and everyone, uh, which can be a great thing sometimes, you know, just open-mindedness. But we got to have boundaries, okay? So this placement, this Chiron and Pisces placement, and you know, this isn't house specific, so you're going to have to tailor it according to your house placement. 
you might have just some issues with those boundaries. Um, and again, maybe some of you who do have Chiron in the seventh house, maybe you don't, you have, you struggle with uh, boundaries regarding your partnerships, okay, your romantic partnerships. Okay, let's see what else we have. Clarification for the first house, Queen of Swords. This is a no nonsense queen. It's air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, it's like you're about business now. You know, the queen of uh, swords is like, she's kind of almost like the justice card. She's like a step down from the justice card. So she really wants to maintain order and balance and clarity and truth. So swords energy is always about the intellect and about um, integrity and like, like literally speaking your truth. So this could be you speaking your truth since it's coming out here with the first house. This could be um, you kind of... Um, like reflecting. So again, that sword's energy is about the intellect. So this is like you thinking, I'm getting like you thinking about how you can better represent yourself. So going back to the boundaries, maybe you don't know how to properly express those boundaries. Um, they kind of just stay kind of swirling up in your headspace. And now you're, you're really getting, um, clear and this person, your supporter of the pentacles person could be helping you, coaching you along the way, supporting you on how to really um, stand up for yourself uh, verbally and not to really be uh, taken advantage of because you could have been with this relationship. Yeah, because here's the tower, tower moment. Okay, sudden change, um, shock, being destabilized. Um, and it's coming out here with the first house. So maybe this person or this relationship that ended, it could have also shaken up like or hurt, you know, maybe punctured your self image a little bit, like your confidence, your self esteem. Uh, for those of you who have Chiron in the first house, that um, it would also be kind of an inherent wound as well. Chiron in the first house, no matter what sign placement, Chiron in the first house is a wound rel relating to how you feel about your physical body, how you feel about your looks. Um, two of Pentacles, more Pentacles energy, and it's a two. So deciding, it's a choice. Um, now this could be a choice regarding a lot of different things, uh, apply the energies, how you see fit, but pentacles for me is also about self-worth. So this is like maybe you juggling, you know, back and forth between like feeling really great about yourself and not feeling good, so good about yourself, feeling really great and not so great. Um, and, and again, I'm going back to that destabilization that I channeled earlier on with this relationship. And so this person, the, the pentacles person, excuse me is here to maybe help you not do so much juggling, not be so kind of in and out in terms of like your confidence level and really feel strong and secure and firm within who you are. Okay. It's coming out with first house energy. So self, I, how you self identify, self identify, excuse me, your how you uh, identify yourself, uh, your confidence as well, your self esteem. Let's get some clarification for Pisces. The Hierophant, this came out for uh, Aquarius as well. The Hierophant, this is the card of Taurus though. Uh, Hierophant is about, um, he's like the earthbound male version of the high priestess. So, which is high priestess, which is Piscean energy, okay? So you have the male version here, Taurus energy. Going back to your values and your beliefs, um, the things that were instilled in you early on, um, tradition. Um, Hierophant also sometimes symbolizes marriage. So this could be a marriage that has ended for some of you, or this could have been like a serious relationship that you thought would have led to marriage, and it didn't. And that was really where the destabilization um, really came in, that strong kind of like someone pulling the rug out from underneath of you. And it's coming out with the Piscean card. So you can see that this, this figure here, this person is male. Um, there's stairs like leading up to like the divine, the higher power, whatever you want to um, term that, but like light. So, but I see that as like him really finally recognizing like the inner truth, right? It's kind of like a revelation. And because it's coming out here with Pisces, a dream world, right? This is like you taking the time to get there, right? Maybe with the help of this person, this other um, family member or coach or, you know, someone close to you, but I'm getting that this person could be a little bit older than you. So it's someone you look up to, not the person you were in a relationship, but the, the person who is helping you through the breakup. Yeah. Knight of cups. So this is like an offer of love an offer of support. This could be like a new love interest coming in 
to finally maybe reveal their feelings for you. Remember, it's Mercury retrograde right now, the time I'm recording this video. So Mercury retrograde brings up things from the past. So this could have been like maybe somebody who you entertained previously before this break, before this relationship started that had just broke up. Maybe this is somebody like a friend, like a friend who is now, um, you know, saying that they're interested in you romantically or... Um, yeah, or it could just be like a platonic offer of love, you know, love, love and, and um, a nurturing, you know, it doesn't have to be romantic, but Knight of Cups typically is. It usually is like an offer of like, like a crush, somebody who has a crush on you or who is just like interested in, you know, dating you and getting to know you. So that's cool. Someone new might be coming in soon. And now we have the four of swords. So, but in the meantime, heal, take an intentional pause um swords energy again it's intellect and it's a four the fours are always about um stable stability foundation okay kinship because you have been destabilized this four swords is here to say like pause and reflect and just allow yourself to heal and really um separate from you know the energies of this person and the relationship now i'm gonna get one card from the keepers of the light see what source has to tell you we have cosmic gateway your thoughts are magnetic and powerful miraculous changes are occurring yeah so you know big changes for you Chiron and uh, Pisces there we go now I want to get a spirit animal card for you we have the elk Stand tall and maintain your dignity no matter what. And others will treat you with the respect that you deserve. Absolutely. So this kind of goes back to the boundaries I was talking about. Maybe some of you don't know how to set great boundaries. You know, and that could be a part of the wound, the Chiron. Now I'm going to get a, um, what is this? Angel Answers. I'm going to get an Angel Answers card for you. Let's see what we have for you, Pisces. A year from now. A year from now so whatever this pertains to it's a year from now and that's what i have for you okay pisces i hope that this reading resonates please like it if it does subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for those of you that are subscribers thank you so much for being here for sharing your energy with me um i appreciate all of your comments your likes and shares um everything can be found on my website so no more you know long stream of links below um my uh yeah you can book a reading there and um find me over on medium and i'm on instagram of course and just everywhere else okay so i love you guys so much i hope to see you in the next reading and be sure to thrive bye